Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. Welcome back to another episode of Hard Times, where I explored food and recipes from times of food scarcity. Today, I'm going to be making the garbage plate. Now, a few of you requested this. I had never heard of it before, and I researched it, and it sounds amazing. This dish was originally called Hots and Potatoes, and then it was also called Hots and Patats, and then later it became the garbage plate. And the legend has it, somebody asked for one of those things that has all the garbage on it, and then garbage plate took off. So you can still find this at Nick Tahu's Hots. You can also find it all over Rochester. Lots of diners and restaurants make it. So the reason why this dish qualifies as a hard times episode is that this dish became very popular during the Great Depression. There wasn't a lot of food, not a lot of money, and in this case, for a few cents, you could get a big plate of food that would fill you up. So there are a lot of ingredients and items and you can customize it as you wish, but the basic one consists of a paper plate that is divided with half macaroni salad, half home fries, sometimes baked beans if you like, and then it's topped with some kind of protein. The original was a hot, which is a type of sausage. You can get a white hot, which is a pale sausage, or you can get a hot, which isn't necessarily spicy, but I think it has more of a pinkish color. So then you can have that on top. These days, the classic protein are a couple of hamburger patties, usually cheeseburger patties, but you can also have deep fried fish. You can even have grilled cheese or a fried egg. On top of that, you put on a hot sauce, which isn't a hot sauce chili sauce, but a beefy kind of chili actually that's put on top. Then it's topped with chopped white onions, a squeeze of mustard, and if you like, ketchup or hot sauce. All right, let's go ahead and get started making our garbage plate. First things first, we're going to prepare our home fries. I'm gonna heat up my skillet here on medium high. So the type of potato they use at Nick Tahoe's are big kind of home fries, big chunky potatoes. So I looked for that when I went to my grocery store in the frozen aisle, and I'm gonna fry them up. Give myself a generous amount of oil in my saute pan and pour those in there. So I'll be right back when my potatoes are ready. So the home fries are cooked and toasted. Looking and sounding great. So I have two hamburger patties. I'm just gonna melt the cheese. Put them in the pan here. Just enough to melt the cheese. We are now ready to assemble the garbage plate. Grab yourself a paper plate. So I'm gonna fill half of this plate up with some home fries. On the other side, I'm gonna add macaroni salad. This has mayo, relish, I think some red pepper in there. All right, so I have my carb base. <laughs> now we're gonna add the two hamburger patties right over the top with the melted American cheese. Next, we're gonna add the hot sauce, and it's not a chili sauce in the sense of like chili peppers, but it's more like a meat-based chili. Very similar to what they put on a Coney Island dog or a New York System wiener dog. In fact, I made my sauce using this mix, and this is Onyville's New York System, Rhode Island's best hot wieners, and these are pretty synonymous with Rhode Island. So I prepared this according to the package directions. I took half an onion and I finally minced that up, and then I saute that in about a half cup of oil. Then I added two tablespoons of the spice mix, stir that up, and then added one pound of ground beef. So you continue to cook this on the stove top at a simmer for about an hour, and if you really want it to be nice and fine like this, then you take a potato masher and kind of mush everything together. You can add a little bit of water in here as well to make it a little bit more saucy. So then we're gonna add some of this hot sauce right on top. Oh my goodness. Protein and carbs. And then we're gonna add some chopped raw onion. This is some sweet Vidalia onion, which I love. Is it Vidalia or Vidalia? I say both. Okay. Now we're going to add some mustard. So this monster is the basic cheeseburger garbage plate. And it's always served with some bread. So let me cut up some Italian bread. So we have arrived to the moment we've been waiting for, the tasting of the garbage plate. This thing is so heavy <laughs> and it is exuding a lot of smells. 
lots of sulfurous onion smells, vinegar smells from the condiments of the mustard, and I give it a good squirt of ketchup as well. Yeah, it's, it's I think, the perfect moniker, the garbage plate. All right, let's give this a taste. So I'm gonna try to get a bite with everything on it. I'm gonna get the home fries and cut into the burger. I don't know if it's possible to get a bite of everything, but I'm just gonna try. All right, here we go. Thanks, Rochester. Mm. It's not too bad, actually. I'm actually kind of surprised because you're mixing a lot of things here, but it's not too bad. You get the tanginess from the mustard and the sweetness from the ketchup. The onion is nice and crunchy and goes really well with the meat sauce because I associate that with a New York system hot dog. And then you've got some potato in there to kind of absorb some of the meaty heartiness. The thing that's a little bit weird to me is the slippery macaroni salad. Mm -hmm. It works because it has that dressing on it. It's texturally, it's just a bit strange because all the other dishes are hot. And then you've got this kind of cool, slippery salad on the side. Flavor-wise, it works, though. Temperature-wise, it's a little bit strange and unexpected. The burger works in here. The cheese works in here. It's just, I feel like, an echoing of the meat sauce. The meat sauce is great. Kind of like chili. It's got a little bit of cumin in there, some chili powder. But not spicy at all. And lots of garlic and onion in there as well. Mm-hmm. Hmm. hmm. I can imagine myself eating this really, really late at night after a long night of partying. It kind of reminds me of breakfast because we've got the home fries and the ketchup going on in there, but then you've got the burgers, so it's kind of like a strange brunch because you've got the hamburgers in there as well, but it works. I like being able to mix it myself. I think if this was all mixed together, it would look a little bit too much like gack or something. So I like the fact of, of eating it and being able to choose what I want in each bite. Actually, if you think about this, this makes a lot of sense. It's basically a deconstructed hot dog with a side of fries reconstructed into like a mountain with a side of macaroni salad, right? <laughs> Except in this case, it's actually more of a deconstructed hamburger reconstructed on top of a bed of chopped up french fries with a side of macaroni salad. <laughs> I don't even want to know how many calories is in this, but I would imagine that this is probably enough calories for your entire day. So yeah, I would estimate a couple thousand. Yeah, just in the potatoes alone, really. <laughs> Alrighty, so there you have it, Rochester's beloved garbage plate. The next time I'm in the Finger Lakes, Rochester area, I will definitely go to Nick Tahu's Hots and try it for myself because I really want to see what it's like in the context of the iconic place itself. Yeah, so if you have any recipes or ideas or things that you like to see me taste or try, do let me know in the comments down below. I hope you guys enjoy that one. I hope you guys learned something. Share this video with your friends. It really helps me out. Subscribe, follow me on social media, and I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye!